Okay, we are at Nizami Street. I was here last night and I took a, a bunch of you know night shots and all that. <clears throat> and I observed something quite interesting. It is exactly like Taksim Square in Turkey. It looks like it too. Only that is it's bigger. It's much bigger. I always found it fascinating, the concept of communal spaces. Like, if you think about it, what is this place? Where am I walking? This could have easily been a road. They could have connected a bunch of places from this. But no, they chose... Oh, nice. Very calming. But they chose to close down the street and make it, make it a full path for pedestrians. And honestly, yes, uh, this happens when you're new in places. No, I'm not lost, no. So yeah, you can just come. Also, uh, in, I'm from Pakistan, right? So uh, we don't have footpaths. Yes, as shocking as that sounds, we don't. We don't get to walk at all in Pakistan. You either drive to places or you Uber to places or whatever. You cannot walk. So people like me who have the privilege of traveling abroad, all I do here is walk. That's it. I've been here five times. And I haven't shopped, I haven't bought anything, haven't eaten anything, of course. But I just come here because it's coming, just to walk around. And that, honestly, that's what architecture is. If you, uh, I think, I've never done this before. Let me try this. Click on the link here. If you want to see my full review of JBR Dubai, that's also a walk, by the way. Similar to this, same concept, same everything. Places like this are actually built to make communities strong. You can just come here, sit down, read a book, smoke, drink, whatever you want. You want to eat something? Sure. You want to walk? Sure. If you just want to sit here and relax, you can do that too. And honestly, that's what brings people closer. That's what brings communities closer. Like I see people around me and I'm sure you can see a bunch of people in the background. They're just chilling. There's no specific point to this. Obviously, it's not making money, right? So why do that? It is just so that people can meet up at a specific spot and whatever talk relax you know stress release you know release your stress um, I don't know what I'm saying but what I do know is that these places are important we have this in Pakistan yes we have this in Karachi and if my editor can put a photo of Burns Road with the screaming meme that would be great so yeah after, um, I'm horrific, I know. But still, we don't have this. They're certainly not as clean. But yes, we have room to improve. We're growing. But these people were in a war. If they can come out of a war stronger, eh, I don't know. Anyways, back to architecture. Architecturally speaking, this place is very important. A lot of a lot of places need the like special. If I put a lot, uh, if I put something like, for example, okay, again, Pakistan, for example, if we have a place like this where all communities are welcomed, I'm sure five years, ten years down the line, it will surely, surely help out in sorting out people's differences. People from different sects can act, come here, they can talk, they can mingle, they can do a bunch of things. You know, that's that's the whole point of this place. Why? Like, think about this. We live in a commercial world, right? Where every square yard of land can be used to commercialize something in some way. What are they getting out of this? It's literally a path with fountains and, you know, small places for the kids, sitting spaces. Like, I'm literally about to sit on this Greek... I was about to say something. Uh, that is not for my age demographic. But still, see, I'm just sitting here, I'm relaxed, I'm talking to you. Yeah, this is what happens when you let nature take a stroll. When you let people be in a specific place and let them relax and not commercialize on everything. This is what happens. Happens. Look, if, if you look around me, and by the way, I don't know what it is. It's hard to walk here at night because it's crowded with people right now. There are a lot of people here who are sitting at every single bench. Obviously, you can't see it. But yeah, why not? Why not make more of these places? Like I came to Azerbaijan a few months ago. 
I was, uh, I needed a vacation, let's just say that. I was extremely stressed out. Uh, I had some problems at university. I had some problems at work. I had some financial issues that I needed to deal with. Yeah, coming here for five days took everything away. Like took all the stress away, took all the anxiety away. And I was able to focus and start my time after Azerbaijan off with a new perspective. And it's been what, three months, four months that I came here last time. And honestly, I can see myself as a changed man. And even the second trip and being here, especially recording these videos, being, you know, okay. I was here for three to four days and I like in Nizami street, right? And I didn't focus on the little things that I'm focusing on right now because I need, you know, but yeah, it's extremely, extremely, extremely peaceful here. Even though it's a lot of, it's, it's really noisy, but even though it's noisy, it's really calm and peaceful. Everybody has no rush to do anything. Nobody has any meetings to get to. They're all sitting here, relaxed, calm. People are taking photos, they're eating things. Yeah. So why not make more of these? Like, does it make sense? Like, am I making sense to you? Like, am I getting my point across? Like, tell me in the comments. But yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's a shame, it's a shame. When we see something work as well, why don't replicate it? Like I, we know for a fact that this works, Pathways works. It works in Taksim Square, Istanbul. It works in JBR, Dubai. It works in Nizami Street, Azerbaijan. Why can't it work in so many other places? Because we had them in, in London. I remember there were times town squares, there were small places where it was only a route to pedestrians and they worked. Why can't it work here? That's all I'm saying. So why can't it work in uh, any other places? Honestly, I'm, I'm ranting on because I'm from Pakistan and we don't have this there. And it's really, really depressing sometimes that something as simple as just paving some, you know, paving the ground can achieve something so remarkable. I mean, look at the rush. And I'm and I'm telling you again and again and again and again, it's, it's not full yet. It is not full. This place is crowded with people. So yeah, anyways, I hope a lot of people catch on from this idea. You just have to replicate it. It's already here. You just have to replicate it. How hard can that be, right? Anyways, so that's a wrap on Taksim Square. It's been nine minutes. Anywho, I'm pretty sure my editor is going to like cut off a lot of this stuff and add memes because he's 15 but whatever it's calm here one more thing uh, nizami street is fairly new 10 15 years they had all the opportunity to lace this thing with modern architecture lace it you know all of these buildings are new most of these buildings are new like 60 percent of them are new right 10 years old max why didn't they do that let me show you all, all of these buildings not most of them all of these buildings follow a similar pattern of architecture. They are literally the same. They had all the opportunity to, to indulge in other methods of architecture and, you know, uh, introduce some modern touch to, more modern touches to it, but they didn't, you know why? Because this is their architecture and they wanted to promote it. In places like these are usually crowded with tourists. And yes, they wanted to show off their own architecture, their own background, where they came from. And kudos to them, kudos to them, because it is truly marvelous. And yes, metal, glass, and all that new fancy crap is fun to look at, but for how long? I can sit here for 10 hours and, you know, and not be bored of looking at these things, because even on the 10th hour, I would find a minute detail that I didn't. Whereas in, the modern, whereas in modern architecture, like you saw Dennis Mall, right? Fine, yes, huge building, glass facade, pointy, yes, whatever. Nothing compares to what we have here. So in other clips, you probably can see that all of the buildings are following the exact same pattern, which is nice, it highlights their identity. Anyways, that's it from me. Peace out. And also one more thing, uh, yeah, before I forget. Uh, like, subscribe, bell icon, yeah, my editor keeps reminding me to do that. Thank you.